Shaggy is also seated again, but Praspi and Shaggy are the next up that are pretty pretty scary for moving their way in. Oh, but uh, we're Shaggy... seeing Captain Falcon and, and uh, Inkling. Yeah, we don't get to see too many Inklings uh, lately. They used to be so prominent at the beginning of Smash Ultimate, if you remember. And where are they? Well, you see one now. Yeah, I do like to see it. It's a, a much more interesting character than I think people gave her credit for early. I just know that the movement is really solid with Inkling, but it's just really hard to kill with Inkling in general. Just trying to find a side B, but it could be uh, really unsafe. Yeah, so Praspian will definitely have more access to to flat out kill confirms, but Shaggy has some moves that just hit on their own. If you can hit a raw knee, a raw up smash, these are safe moves that kill early and kill hard. Right, Captain Falcon, all he would need is just one stray hit, and he's able to take a hit. Like, he could kill at this percent right now. Praspian is really looking for that side B, really looking for that grab for these kill confirms, especially with Shaggy getting up to these high percents. Uh, and Shaggy's having a hard time getting in at all. Usually this is something that is uh, kind of his forte, so it's definitely going to be a concern for him to see Praspian making it so hard for him. He's looking for a kill there at ledge, Ooh, but being stuck there, By grounded the roller, at such a high and percent. Grounded into forward smash. Right, that's what we were talking about. And like, Linkling gets that uh, roller and able to just get the kill. All right. Praspian is uh, taking control of this stage really well. Oh my god, and making that sure scary. that Shaggy cannot stop them from getting back to the stage. A great drab block there, even into that side B. It's not going to ground, but just slamming on all of that damage. He's not going to get the punish as Shaggy gets that reversed up B for uh, a nice command grab. Nice tech. A tech will keep Praspian in here as the damage just keeps mounting on. Dash tech not taking it. Oh, so Praspian really is just oh evading death so well. <laughs> the With 70% here of extra credit, they're feeling good. Approaching with a roller is really scary. It's... Well, oh, Praspian threw that side B off ledge and even chased down below, making it really dangerous for Shaggy to try and get back. He does get back up twice nonetheless, and he gets that reverse shield, side B. B. This time, what he was looking for before actually kills. But the 108% with, with Inkling, it's really strong for, uh, for Praspian to be able to, to keep the advantage. Yeah, I think Praspian's got to realize here that uh, a raw side B isn't going to land on Shaggy. Shaggy's well aware of it, so he's got to use that to find punishes. Those are great opportunities to get grabs. Uh, but despite not, not really reading that next step ahead, Praspian is just winning off in these neutral engagements, getting a lot more pressure and finding kills earlier. Praspian, I'm noticing a really strong catch on uh, just like being able to, to catch Shaggy's movement. And they're chasing Shaggy really well in the air. This is usually the, that area of Forte where Shaggy is getting kills. Oh, wow. <laughs> a nice jab lock there, getting everything that Praspian can get out of it. Well, this could be very Ooh. scary. Praspian is just reacting a couple frames faster than Shaggy pretty consistently here. That's making it so hard for Shaggy to actually find his options. He's going to get pulled into oh, a, up air a different, it. less less well-known uh, confirmed <laughs> there, but the, the up air will definitely kill right out of that throw. It was very scary. Like, uh, like it, once Shaggy was off stage, I was uh, I would know uh, Praspian trying to uh, edge guard uh, Falcon, and it's not very good recovery for Falcon. Yeah, and Shaggy's definitely having a hard time ledge guarding Praspian. There are definitely some opportunities to do some stuff to mess with Praspian's recovery, go for some down tilts potentially, but but Shaggy just doesn't find any traction there. He's going to go for that Zero Suit Samus now. This is a, a, a similar oriented character, but it's going to have some, some different options, definitely better off stage options as well, which is a place that he was suffering against Praspian game one. And hopefully uh, Shaggy can be able to make use of the of the movement that Zero Suit has and not be able to be ca uh, caught by Praspian. As we saw in the game one, Praspian was able to really catch uh, Shaggy on, on his, uh, his landing options and wherever he was going to air dodge. So maybe he can take advantage of Zero Suit's movement. Ooh, Shaggy is getting a little spooks there. I think that was blowing an air dodge off stage, uh, which actually limited his recovery options. But luckily for him, Praspian didn't go off ledge for anything. Ooh, he's got a nice stun here, which could continue ooh, to land some damage. And it is indeed. He's not going to get that flip kick or anything. But he land gets away safe with everything, even getting a side B here for some extra credit here. And first stock is looking a lot better for Shaggy right off the bat. It's a lot more even. Yeah, you could definitely tell he feels a lot more confident with a Zero Suit's game play but we can see it's pretty even so far a little high percent for shaggy but could go either way 
He's also covered with ink. He's definitely a concern because he's going to get thrown a lot more easily. At 130%, this means that anything with a, a high base knockback is really going to hurt. He has evaded for long enough that that ink is going to be gone now, but uh, another jab will definitely set up for that. How's Shaggy's chase here going to be? Ooh, he's looking for a couple options using that flip kick to make sure he gets back to stage nice and safe. But the punish isn't there! Shaggy needed that kill uh, to get ahead for the first time in this set, but it's just not going to come out. Up smash? Nice. Taking it. Zero Suit has such a strong punish game, and it's just, you know, all these confirms with stuns is able to do just just about anything. But take, uh, Craspian with a back air, taking the stock. Yeah, Shaggy got a little careless there off stage. He's going to get one of those up smashes just like before. It's not a kill at all at this point, but he is keeping well uh, in the game with Praspian on damage. Much better to see than last game. Definitely see some neutral game players. Oh, that's interesting to see that Praspian's bomb actually kind of traded out, not helping them out very much. Yeah, it was very much snuffed kinda... out. Not really doing a whole lot. It was able to punish by the lag. All right, Praspian going for this low recovery, which has been working out really well for him. But wow, Shaggy calling out the ledge get up for a kill and actually finally pulling ahead. This might be one of these going to game three, especially if Shaggy can keep this up. Yeah, you, like we said, a lot more confident in the Zero Suit gameplay. You kept, you definitely saw he was looking for the Zer into back air, and he finally found it with that second stock. Yeah, it looks like Shaggy's feeling a little more comfortable in the air, and Zero Suit Samus is definitely a lot more forgiving if you do a lot more approaches oh, in the air. Such a beautiful nice catch call with the out. Smash. All right, Praspian is doing a lot here to keep ahead of Shaggy's movement. He got I grounded there, <laughs> but the bomb was a great move there to try and set up and make sure that Shaggy wasn't able to do anything. Here's another lock, and an up air is going to come out. Oh, nice parry. All right, the two of them are playing on full octane right now. I think you can definitely see a change in the gameplay in this last couple of seconds. The two of them really keeping pace with each other. Uh, that side B is not going to land. He lands the jabs to stop it. Super Low recovery close. against again. Ooh, the punish option oh, was he's, available he's there. Known the, he's knowing the rolling has come on out. This isn't going to kill quite yet, but that red lightning is definitely an omen for the future for Praspian. As Shaggy is keeping this pressure up, making sure that Praspian can't get away from the edge of the map very easily at all. Aerial moves are not going to land for either character. As Praspian really wants to get some more juice uh, charged up. But oh my he god! He reads the roll he knew was coming, and then uh, that's how he was able to get up B out of the shield for the kill. And we're going to see a game three. That was great to see from Shaggy. Gonna be a lot more comfortable on that Zero Suit Samus, but Praspian absolutely not out of the count. Gonna need to adapt a little bit more having to play against a new character here in game two. Uh, game three, we'll be heading into Pokemon Stadium two. Uh, once again, nothing too crazy. We see plenty of that, but Praspian, I think, needs to get a little less comfortable with those side Bs because Shaggy is doing a phenomenal job of playing around them. Not only allowing one to go through and perhaps being getting punished more often than not for throwing out side Bs. Right, Zero Suit Samurai, this is a really good out of shield game. And it's just, he didn't use up B out of the shield for this entire set. And that's how he was able to pull it off because uh, Praspian wasn't uh, expecting the, the up B out of the shield to take the kill. Ooh, Praspian getting some nice damage with those aerials like we saw before back into that nice comfortable range keeping right on Shaggy's back making sure that he doesn't get anything for free. Right, Shaggy still had to work for game two so we're, we're, it's still going to be a high octane game three. Definitely some work. But as we see it's a solid neutral game from both yeah. players. That forward smash was a great punish right there. Praspian keeps showing us beautiful punishes whenever Shaggy tries to get back to stage here. Uh, looking for a little bit of a setup there, but it's Shaggy had the perfect option. It's just wait sometimes. He's going to get hit by that roller finally, and it's a big kill for Praspian pulling well ahead in this close game three. It's going to be a little hard for Shaggy to be able to get a kill, and, and then hopefully this will get for Praspian some damage. A nice parry there from Shaggy isn't going to give him anything. Ooh, tried to read the roll away. Oh, oh, 
almost met uh, the edge guard. Yeah, Shaggy was already doing a pretty technical uh, thing there, going low to try and stop Praspian, something they hasn't had any success in doing yet. Praspian recovering really safely uh, all the time, and Shaggy just not finding the options quite yet, but getting hit by the upbeat could have been the difference between life and death. And nice. once again, same thing. He, he knows the roller is coming out and then reads it with the uh, uh, upbeat. Yeah, we keep saying this. Praspian has to be a little less content with that side B because he's died twice for it now. You can see he's definitely going for it still. But it's solid damage and it will get a kill. Not at this percent, but it's good damage. Yeah. Ooh, Shaggy pushing all the way across the stage here. Knows that roller's coming out yet again, but they're oh, still confirms with the up, available. Up, up air for the kill. Oh, but we're seeing some up air uh, loops as well with the zero suit. Yeah, Shaggy's wasting no time here. Looking for that read, and Praspian does a great move. He knows that he can play really well off of that ledge, so he's going to go straight there, not having to mess with anything else. Ooh, the command Ooh, grab is not going to come out. Shaggy's seeming a little unsure of what to do to punish. Yeah, it seemed a little hard. The uh, inkling was a little short. Yeah, he's definitely missed some some short hop forward errors to try and punish. Ooh, oh, air dodge in! The jab block the for the forward smash, smash. It doesn't Huge quite damage. kill here. And then the back air taking it. Oh my gosh. Nice. Praspian gets it in three games. Uh, that one pulling out a little further for Praspian. He, he got the read on Shaggy. Despite Shaggy playing really well around that side B. Great plays from both of them. I, I've sung praise to Shaggy's uh, movement. But Praspian, definitely someone to look out for as far as that goes. Because they absolutely... We're at that same level, maybe even a little bit ahead, and I think that's what got them that position, beating out Shaggy in the end.